taking a, st a look at a stock which is moving higher, uh, in the case of Foster's at one stage up over 7%, and this is after it's announced its plan to split its profitable beer business from a wine unit which is struggling. And indeed, uh, this is what we're going to talk about now uh, with this split taking place. Melissa Long joining us now from Sydney. Uh, Melissa, what's the story here? And you know, looking at the rally this morning, the stock market really liked this announcement in particular, didn't they? Yes, it did. You mentioned up over 7%. Over At one point, up more than 8.7%. In fact, the shares of Australia's Fosters really surging this morning with the news that the company would like to split up its beer and wine unit. The stock currently up 6.8%. Now, this was announced a little more than an hour before the trading day started here in Sydney, and the stock really rallying, as I mentioned. In a statement today from the company, Australia's biggest brewer says its expected earnings before interest and taxes for fiscal 2010 are in line with estimates at 1.05 to 1.08 billion Aussie dollars. The Melbourne-based company is saying it is on track for at least 100 million a year in savings in 2011. Now, before the split of the Foster's beer and wine units can actually go through, of course, it is subject to approval by all the regulators. It isn't likely to be put into place until the first half of next year at the very earliest. Rish? Melissa, why do it, though? I mean, really, I, I guess the in investors like it, otherwise we wouldn't have seen this uh, move up right. to the upside in the share price. Right. Well, why demerge the two divisions? Good question. The beer unit performing quite well. The wine business, not so much. It's struggling. And this really does give investors a chance to value the businesses separately. The beer business has been profitable, as I mentioned, and Foster says it will continue to reinvest in the key brands to continue the positive earnings growth. And in contrast, I mentioned the wine unit. The beverage group's wine division has been weighed down by what is called subdued demand in international markets. That's according to the CEO. And also oversupply here in Australia. Still, the Foster Foster CEO, that's Ian Johnson, is saying the wine business has been showing signs of growth. Brewing, in fact, accounted for 85% of Foster's earnings in the most recent first half and also accounted for 55% of its revenue. Rish? Melissa, I know you've got a preference for wine, so clearly you've not been drinking enough of it. <laughs> and never on the job. <laughs> and no, no, I do, have a, I do have a preference for wine over beer. Yourself? Uh, I'm equally, I'm in both camps, but thanks very much indeed. Thanks so long joining the day. Equal from, uh, opportunity Sydney. beverage consumer. <laughs> indeed, absolutely.